15 banana smoothie here. Beautiful, nice and sugary. Just bananas and water, that's it. Low fat, high carb. That's what we're talking about. Anyway, so quick tutorial on how to breathe so you can climb faster. I titled it, How to Breathe for Weight Loss. People go, breathe for weight loss? Are you crazy? You don't breathe for weight loss. You've got to train for weight loss. You've got to eat low fat for weight loss. You know, you can't breathe for weight loss. Wrong. If you want to get faster, you've got to breathe right. Faster means leaner, means lighter. So you've got to breathe right before you're going to drop your weight. Otherwise, you're not going to get your best out of your training. It's all about training the least and getting the most results. That's what it's all about. Those who train smarter can race harder. It's all about training just bare minimum and getting the maximum results. So then we've got more time for family, life, etc. I don't know about you, but I've done the 1,000K weeks. I've done the 1,500 kilometer weeks. And that's good fun and stuff like that, but I've got more in my life going on now than just sitting on the bike getting a suntan. So I like to train minimal to get maximum results. So breathing is a key point here. I'm going to teach you the basics. You basically want to have the fattest gut you can. Fat gut. Think when you're on the climb, that fat gut. Think of just the big belly, super duper gut. Just think the biggest gut you can. Look, check out this paleo primal diet guy. This is how your gut should be when you're climbing on the bike. And people say, that's not true. You want to have a tight stomach. You want to embrace your core the whole way out the climb. That's absolute nonsense. It's not true. <laughs> now, check out the world's best riders. Here's in the Tour de France. We've got Cadeau Evans and Team BMC. I think we've got a shot of Lance in there maybe somewhere. Everybody's gut is fat. So if you look here in the Tour de France, you can see Cadell Evans there in yellow with his team BMC leading the pace of the climb. Focus on the stomachs of the riders. Focus on the stomachs. And you can see the extension with the diaphragm breathing. This is what you have to do if you want to get the best efficiency in your climbing or running. You've got to breathe from the stomach. And just look at the stomachs there. Focus on the stomachs. See how they're just going in and out, in and out. So we can see that. I mean, the camera's not the best, but you can sort of get the, get the idea what's going on here. Stomach just in and out. And here we have another clip here. Apologise for the fuzzy camera, but focus on the stomach. Even Cadell Evans, you can see his stomach in the yellow there. It's in and out, in and out. Bit of shake, but see the stomach. Yes, there we go. So everyone's stomach breathing. So you want to have a fat gut. As a cyclist, I mean, it sort of sounds funny, but you, you should aim for the fattest gut you can, can on the climbs. You want to be skinny on your body, but you want to have a fat man gut. Even Schleck, there we go, you see his gut coming in and out. You want to have the gut. No gut, no speed. Get the gut to go fast. You want to have a fat gut when you're on the climb, otherwise you're going to be getting dropped. Because you're not going to be breathing at your true potential. So this is basically it. Remember, all you have to do, the take home message is fat gut, fat gut, fat gut, fat gut. Breathe from the belly, not from the chest. You never want to breathe from your chest ever. Breathe from the gut, breathe from the gut, fat gut, fat gut, fat gut. Smash the climbs. Peace. Done. Easy. Thanks for watching. If you have any specific cycling questions you'd like me to do videos on, post your comments down below and don't forget to click like, share, subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. See you out in the road.